okay dear students let us see what is there in this question two point charges q1 and q2 are one meter apart let us say this is q1 and this is q2 the graph shows the variation of electric potential v with the distance x from q1 so let us say this becomes x so this is the point okay so this is the graph shown here the potential is reducing okay fine what is the ratio of q1 by q2 okay my dear students in this question i would say uh, there is a method to solve this question but it's a little tedious one um, and it is using the calculus in its uh, explanation so i don't know whether this thing uh, should be there or not in, in your question paper but anyways let us see what is happening what we do is uh, it is the, from the graph what can we make out we can make out only one thing that the potential is having the minimum value at x is equal to 0 0.8 it means first of all we have to create an expression for the electric potential in the terms of x and then we have to minimize that function so mathematically speaking how can we minimize things so if you have done uh, um, the calculus in your mathematics in which uh, in, in the limits and differentiability continuity discontinuity and those kind of chapters we do this concept of minimization what we do we uh, we uh, differentiate the equation and then we equate it to equal to zero and then we find the ratio so likewise we are going to do this now v1 will be taken as plus k q1 divided by x and v2 can be taken as k q2 divided by 1 minus x not square 1 minus x so what is the total potential now so total potential will be the addition of this so k i have taken common so it will become q1 by x plus q2 divided by 1 minus x so this is the function for which the graph is created here and it is having a minimum value at 0 0.8 nothing else we know is it a parabolic graph i am not sure about it it is a hyperbola what, what the hell is this i don't know what are the values for the potential even that is not given otherwise we could have substituted the values of x here and we could have done something but even that is not given to us so what we do is we differentiate it i hope you understand this thing now this is k and when we differentiate it it comes out to be equal to this sorry for being a little faster here because uh, there are so many things I have to do in this question now so plus q2 so how to differentiate this again it will become like this but there will be a chain rule also so it will become positive so this is how we differentiate this question and now we equate this equation to equal to zero and from this equation, we are going to find the ratio of Q1 and Q2. Okay, so uh, uh, now we have to solve it. There's nothing else that we can do. So I take this to the other side. So just the algebraic equation. From here, I can say q1 by q2 will be equal to x so x is taken as 0 0.8 here so 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.2 square because if this is 0 0.8 so this distance will automatically become 0 0.2 so i have substituted that value so this comes out to be 4 and 4 square is 16 so q1 by q2 is coming out to be equal to 16. Well, my dear students, I know that in this particular question, there are so many things and I know you would be having problems at many steps in this in this uh, solution. But to my mind, to my brain, this is the only solution that I can suggest you for this question. Q1 by Q2 is equal to 16. So at any step, if you are facing some problem, you feel like asking something, you need more explanation for this please do mention in the comment section i will again i will again um, upload another video with the even better explanation so this is professor varun my dear students subscribe to the youtube channel also connect with me on discord now all the best bye